Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Bison Gym here in Balco, Oklahoma for this home opener and senior night between the Balco Lady Bison and the visiting Laverne Lady Tigers. Laverne comes into this game today with a record of two and two on the season. Balco comes in with a record of two wins and one loss. Had a chance to visit with Coach Johnson a little bit before uh, the game today and here in a couple minutes we're going to uh, discuss uh, what we talked about in that interview, but we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we will have the pregame show for the Balco Lady Bison and the Laverne Lady Tigers here from Bison Gym in Balco, Oklahoma. Balco Bison Sports Network will continue in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bison Gym here in Balco, Oklahoma for this home opener and senior night between the Balco Lady Bison and the Laverne Lady Tigers. Had a chance to visit with Coach Johnson, Coach Brittany Johnson, before the game. And uh, one of the things that, that we talked about was the youth in this Balco Lady Bison team. It's a much younger team than Balco has had in years past. But as far as the effort and the tenacity, they're picking right up where they left off. They play a very different game this year than they've played in years past. Um, in, the, in the past, Balco has had the height advantage and ability to be able to just, you know, kind of pound the post and uh, get the ball in to shoot over teams. Uh, the Lady Bison no longer have that height advantage, and so they're having to play a, a faster uh, more small ball kind of brand of basketball. It has worked well so far. Uh, they had a an impressive win over Booker, a close loss to Eric, a very good Eric team, and then uh, a nice victory over a good Goodwell team last week. Laverne, uh, Lady Tigers come in. They are very experienced. They are very athletic, and they are very aggressive, and it's going to give the Lady Bison fits tonight. Uh, Laverne is known for just being able to press the ball up the court the entire time. Uh, defensively, uh, they're going to they're, they're gonna push you as well. Uh, the keys to victory for the Lady Bison for this evening, they have to improve on their free throw shooting. Uh, it's probably been the biggest weakness for this Lady Bison team so far this year. They've struggled from the charity stripe. Defensively, they've got to be on top of their game as well. Avoid foul troubles. The Lady Bison in every game so far this year have gotten into early foul trouble, especially junior Carolyn Olvera. She's kind of struggled um, with, with getting into early foul trouble. Um, and that the Lady Bison are going to have to avoid that tonight if they're going to pull the upset over the Lady Tigers. And offensively, they're going to have to break the press. Laverne is going to press you to death. And if Balco does not break that press, it's going to be a long night here for the Lady Bison. Again, the Laverne Lady Tigers coming in with a record of two wins and two losses. They uh, had a tough loss last night to Sealing. Uh, Balco coming in again with a two and one record. In their last game, they scored a victory over the Goodwill Lady Eagles. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to have the National Anthem in the starting lineups for this matchup. 
between the Balco Lady Bison and the Laverne Lady Tigers. Balco Bison basketball will continue on the Balco Sports Network in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Balco Bison. Jim here in Balco, Oklahoma for this matchup between the Laverne Lady Tigers and the Balco Lady Bison. The starting lineups for the two teams. Uh, first for the Laverne Lady Tigers, again coming into today's game with a record of two wins and two losses. Number four, Jade Bentley. Number five, Whitley Cash. Number 11, Caitlin Long. Number 20, Macy Bentley. And number 21, Carly Brown. And the Lady Tigers are coached by Brett Trippett. The starting lineup for the home Balco Lady Bison. 
Number three, Madeline Trentum. Number five, Sawyer Stockton. Number 11, Carolyn Olvera. Number 21, Kendall France. And number 24, Aspen Freeman. The Lady Bison are coached by Brittany Johnson, assisted by Monty Regeer. We're just over two minutes away from the opening tip. Teams are finishing up their warm-ups, and we'll have the national anthem followed by the tip of this game. It's going to be imperative for Balco to not only get off to a fast start, but to eliminate or at least kind of subdue somewhat the speed of the Lady Tigers. The Tigers are a fast team. They're an aggressive team. They'll press you on both ends of the floor, and Balco will want to make sure that they do everything in their power to keep this game. It, 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 Laverne plays a, a style of play that Balco wants to play, which is good. But Balco's going to have to also be able to kind of slow it down from time to time to prevent the teams, uh, to prevent the the, the speed from of, of Laverne from taking over too much. Also, uh, something that may come into play, uh, Balco already shorthanded uh, this season uh, is down uh, one of their uh, – one of their top bench players, Caitlin Gonzalez, is going to be out today with a, with a hyperextended knee. Uh, she's expecting to have an MRI uh, done, and hopefully there won't be any uh, further damage revealed from that MRI. They're hoping that she'll be back in action soon. We are going to take a pause for the National Anthem, but we will stay here for it. And afterward, we will have the tip of this matchup between the Balco Lady Bison and the Laverne Lady Tigers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is basketball time in Oklahoma. A very pleasant good evening to you all, wherever you may be. I'm David Vaughn. We'll be your play-by-play -play voice for tonight's game. Balco will be in their home white uniforms with white lettering and maroon trim. Uh, maroon stripes down the shorts. For Laverne, uh, the Lady Tigers, they will be in uh, purple uniforms with white lettering and gold trim. A decent-sized crowd here at the game. Tonight, probably around a couple hundred people. They uh, maxed. Uh, they, they set a maximum limit of, uh, for the crowd of 200 uh, tonight because of, of uh, COVID restrictions, and they want to make sure that uh, make sure that, that we're able to social dis distance while still being able to play and enjoy this game. And we are uh, grateful that we get to have the game. There are so many uh, people that are not able to do that, and manifestly, it is a, a basketball game. But it's, you know, a distraction. It's a distraction from the, the world for a minute. They're announcing the, the Balco uh, Lady Bison starters right now. And as soon as they do that, then we will have the, um, 
the tip. Lady Bison are meeting in the center circle right now. They're about to have the opening tip for this game. The officiating crew for tonight's game is Keith Soule, Darren Dirks, and Marlon Sparks. Looking forward to a good, exciting time. Keith Soule has the ball in the center circle, waiting for the two teams. Final instructions from the coaches. Laverne will be moving from left to right across your television screen and your uh, radio dial. Balco will be going from right to left. Yeah, zoom out as much as you can. Sawyer Stockton and Whitley Cash will be tipping it up. Sule has the ball and is walking into the circle. The whistle is blown. Ball's in the air, and the tip is controlled by Balco. Stockton has the ball. I pass it over to uh, Overa. Overa walks the ball slowly across the timeline, checks from Coach Johnson for the, for the place. Stockton has the ball, passes it over to Trenum. Trenum fakes the three, goes back, passes it over to, to France, and we have a traveling violation. So turnover on the opening possession. It will be Laverne basketball. Scoreless 17 seconds into this game. The Lady Tigers will inbound on the far baseline. They do so to Whitley Cash. Cash has the ball eyeing the defense. Jogs across the timeline, passes up to Caitlin Long. Long has the ball, backs back out, being guarded by Overa. Drives back in, loses control, gets it back. Dribbles off her leg again. Uh, pass over to Carly Brown, who passes it back again. And the three-pointer is around the rim and no good. Rebounded by Madeline Trenum. Bumped, no foul call. Double teamed in the backcourt. Heavy pressure along the baseline. Pass is off of Overa's foot and out of bounds. And it, so the ball will go back to the Tigers. 7-18 left to go here in the first quarter. Still scoreless. Whitley Cash set to inbound in front of the Lady Bison bench. Has the ball, checks the play, looks to inbound it, and does so immediately in front of her to Kayla Long. Long driving into the lane. The shot is around the rim, and no good rebounded by Freeman. Freeman with the ball. Heavy pressure in the backcourt. Kendall France has it passes over to Stockton. Stockton pushes up across the timeline to Madeline Trenum. Trenum hands it off to France. France with the ball, the free throw line extended, passes up to the top of the key. Fakes the shot, uh, goes around the screen, so by Olvera. Fake pass over to Aspen Freeman with the ball near the three point line. Looks to get rid of it, does so. Sawyer Stockton, three pointer, lines it up off the rim and no good. Rebounded by the Lady Tigers, running back the other way across the timeline. Pass over to the free throw line extended. Thought about the shot, did not take it. Driving into the lane instead, and we have a foul. Foul is on Aspen Freeman. That is her first personal foul, first team foul. And at the line for the Lady Tigers is Carly Brown. Brown looking for the first points of this game for either team. First free throw is off the side iron and no good. 6.44 left to go here in the first quarter of action. Still scoreless. Pace is fast, but not what I would call frenetic so far. Second free throw is on the way and good. And the Lady Tigers score first by a score of one to nothing. Long pass, Olvera brings the ball across the timeline, dribbles through a double team, passes it back around, circles back up and has it near the logo. Being, being guarded closely way out by the circle. Olvera looking to set the play, does so to France. France has the ball. Being guarded by Whitley Cash, hands it back off to Olvera, back over to France. France has the ball driving into the lane across over to Olvera. Olvera has the ball, drives through a double team. The layup is good for Carolyn Olvera, and the Lady Bison lead by a score of 2-1. to one. Full court press now by the Lady Bison. Laverne has the ball, Bentley passes it up, crosses the timeline, and Caitlin Long driving into the lane, being guarded by Freeman. Shot goes up off the front iron, no good. Rebound loose, rebounded by the Lady Tigers. Another offensive rebound. Dribbles around, no good. Shot is off the iron, rebounded by Sawyer Stockton, and we have a foul in the backcourt. Foul will be on Laverne, Caitlin Long. That will be her first personal foul. First team foul for the Lady Tigers. And it will be Balco Bison Ball inbounding on the near sideline. 5.54 to go here in the first quarter. Two to one, the score favor Balco. Inbound into the backcourt to Olvera. Olvera 
being guarded, uh, drives across the lane and is fouled as she approaches the timeline. And the foul is on Whitley Cash. That is her first personal second team foul. And Falco basketball, they will inbound on the far sideline. I, I said earlier that it wasn't a frenetic pace. I think we're kind of getting to that frenetic pace stage at this point. Inbound it to Olvera. Olvera brings it across the timeline, being double teamed. Good defense, passes it over to Trenum. Trenum back to France. France has the ball, being guarded very closely. Over to Sawyer Stockton. Long three-pointer for Stockton. Bang! Three-pointer is good from Sawyer Stockton from about 23 feet. And the score is now Balco 5, Laverne 1. Full court press. Lady Tigers break it, bring it across the timeline. Driving into the lane, the 15-foot uh, jumper uh, by Brown is off the front iron. No good. Stockton comes racing back the other way. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Driving around is off the front iron. No good. Rebounded by the Lady Tigers. Quickly back the other way. 5'11 left to go here in the first quarter. Driving into the lane is Jay Bentley. Passes it over to the free throw line. Extended now to the top of the key. The three-point shot from... Cameron, uh, excuse me, from Caitlin Long is good. So three points for Long, and the score is now 5-4, to four, favor Balco. Kendall France has the ball in the backcourt pass over to Sawyer Stockton. Stockton has the ball, passes it across the timeline to France. France up to the free throw line, extended. Madeline Trenums is off the front iron. No good rebound by Sawyer Stockton around the rim. Also no good rebounded by the Lady Tigers. Coming back the other way, 4, 4.36 to go here in the first quarter of play. Whitley Cash with the ball, passes it over. Now to the free throw line extended is, is Bentley over the three-point shot by Carly Brown on the wing. is no good. Shot is up and no good. They're going to call a foul on the Lady Bison on the ground. Foul is going to be on Aspen Freeman. That is her second personal foul. So that's, that is an ominous start for the Lady Bison there. The one thing that they could not afford was early foul trouble, and it's the one thing that they have. So Caden Sager comes into the game for the Lady Bison. Subbing into the game for Laverne is Nanny Echevarria. As the three-pointer is off the iron and no good, out of bounds. Also uh, subbing into the game for Laverne. I'm, I, unfortunately, I don't have... I don't have a, a number, or excuse me, I don't have a name. I will do some research and try and get that. Kendall France has the ball, pass it across the timeline. Sawyer Stockton with the ball down into the lane. The shot is blocked out of bounds uh, by uh, Caitlin Long. Ball will remain with Balco. 4.08 to go here in the first quarter. 5-4 to four your score favor Balco in what has been a fast but not necessarily productive first quarter. France looking to inbound, can't find anyone open. Long inbound to Sawyer Stockton. Hands it off to Carolyn Overo. Vera driving around the top of the circle over to the free throw line. Extended his Trenna back up to Stockton. Stockton fakes the three, drives into the lane. The shot is off the side iron, no good. Rebound still loose, picked up by the Lady Tigers. Coming back quickly the other way. 3.52 to go here in the first quarter. Five to four, your score driving into the lane is Whitley Cash. The 13-foot jumper is good. And Laverne takes the 6-5 to five lead. 3.44 to go here in the first quarter. Kendall France passes around the double team. Caden Sager up to Carolyn Overo. Overo over to the wing. Back to Madeline Trenum. Trenum has the ball. Passes to Stockton. Stockton down to Overo. Down by the block. Passes back out to the, to the wing. The three-pointer. Bang! Madeline Trenum with the three-pointer. Second three-pointer of the game for the Lady Bison. It is 8-6. to 3.23 to go here. And the inbound is stolen. Madeline Trenum has the ball. Goes up. And the basket is good, but she traveled. So no basket. Good effort play, though. Can't imagine that Coach Johnson would be too mad at that. She's not. She's smiling at the sideline. 8-6, to six, your score favorite, Balco. Inbound back to Whitley Cash. Cash has the ball. And we have a traveling violation for Laverne. I have got to find the name on that player. <laughs> Excuse me just a moment as I do some research here because something tells me I'm going to be calling that name a lot as Balco inbounds on the far sideline. France inbounds it into the backcourt to Olvera. Olvera jogs slowly across the timeline with the ball bringing it in. Over to the free throw line extended. Madeline Trenum passes over. Stockton thought about the three. Thought better if I pass over to Caden Sager. Sager's three-pointers off the back iron. No good rebounded by the Lady Tigers. Coming quickly back the other way. Thought about the three-pointer. Thought better if I pass over to the top of the key. Driving now down into the lane around the block set. Uh, around the screen, the Echevarria screen. Driving now into the lane. And the layup is up and no good, but Carly Brown gets her own 
Rebound, then puts it back up. Eight to eight, your score, two and a half to go here in the first quarter. Quickly across the timeline, Sawyer Stockton has the ball down on the block. The shot is up and in. Basket by Sawyer Stockton, now has five points. Ten to eight, your score, quickly into the front court. Is Caitlin Long driving in, the floater is good. Five points for Caitlin Long. Kendall France with the ball in the backcourt being double teamed. Passes out of the press. Stockton has the ball. Pass up to Olvera in front of everybody. Goes up. The layup is good for Carolyn Olvera. Four points for Olvera. Two-point lead for the Lady Bison. Quickly the other way are the Lady Tigers. Driving into the lanes. Caitlin Long. The shot is up off the front iron. No good rebound by Madeline Trenum. Outlet to Kendall France. France has the ball being guarded. Dribbles into a double team. Pass out to Madeline Trenum. Trenum passes into the third row. And uh, out of bounds. So will be Laverne. Uh, Laverne basketball. Emily Trenum subbing into the game for the Lady Bison, replacing Sawyer Stockton. Laverne had wholesale substitutions. I will catch up with those here momentarily. A minute 38 to go here in the first quarter. 12 to 10, the score favor Balco. Pass up to the top of the key. Maria Sosa has the ball. Pass is deflected but caught. And stolen and I guess a foul. Uh, there was a whistle on the play. Looks like the foul was on uh, Emily Trenum. That's going to be Trenum's first personal foul, third team foul. Laverne will inbound on the near sideline with a minute 29 to go. Does so into the backcourt. Jade Bentley with the ball being guarded by Emily Trenum. Passes over to, to number 14, over to Maria Sosa. Sosa over now to the free throw line extended is Jade Bentley. Has the ball being guarded now by Madeline Trenum. Back up to the top of the key. Near the circle, driving in. Thought about the three, thought better. A nice pass into the lane. Nice pass into the lane. Macy Bentley with the shot. No good, but there was a foul. And the foul is on Kendall Francis, her first personal fourth team foul. At the line for Laverne, Macy Bentley with two shots. A minute 11 left to go here in the first quarter. What's well, been a very entertaining game so far. 12 to 10. It's the first free throws around the rim, off the iron, and falls through. First point of the game for Macy Bentley. 12 to 11 now the score. A minute 11 to go here in the first quarter. Second free throw is on the way and is good. So both free throws are good, and it's now tied at 12 with a minute 10 to go here in the first quarter. Olvera comes quickly across the timeline. High pass to Madeline Trenum. Passes out of a triple team. Caden Sager has the ball over to Olvera. Olvera drives around, and the layup is good. Basket is good for Carolyn Olvera, who has six points. And the Lady Bison lead 14 to 12, 52 left to go here in the first quarter. Over to the free throw line, extended, being guarded very closely by Olvera and deflected out of bounds. 47 and a half seconds to go here in what has been a very entertaining first quarter of play. Lady Tigers will inbound on the near sideline, do so out to the circle. Jade Bentley has the ball being guarded by Emily Trenum over to Sosa. Sosa with the ball back up to the circle again, over again to Bentley. Bentley over at the free throw line, extended being guarded by Olvera. Back up to Sosa, Sosa over to number 14, and as soon as we get to a break, I will check that out. Long pass, Sosa, the three-pointer is off the back iron, no good. Two Tigers fighting for the rebound, and it goes off of both of them and out of bounds for a Lady Bison basketball. 14 to 12, your score favor Balco. 27 and a half seconds left to go here in the first quarter of play. France inbounds to, to Emily Trenum, who uh, passes up to Olvera. Olvera driving into the lane, pass over to Caden Sager. Back to Madeline Trenum. Trenum being guarded by Sosa. Passes over to France. France with the ball over at the top of the key. 15 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Olvera slows it back down, hoping to get for the last shot for the Lady Bison. Being guarded very closely by Macy Bentley. Over near the sideline. Now seven seconds left to go. Ball is knocked out of bounds. 6.7 left to go now here in the first quarter. Balco will inbound on the far sideline near the Laverne bench. Kendall France looking to do the inbounding honors. Gets the ball from the official. Looks to inbound it to someone, anyone. Long inbound to Caden Sager. Back over to Kendall France. France, long three-pointer off the back iron. No good rebounded by the Lady Tigers. Dribbles up, and there's a foul with 0.7 seconds left here in the first quarter. A costly foul for the Bison, and that is going to be on Carolyn Olvera, her first personal 15 foul with less than one second to go here. Long inbound near the, the free throw line extended. The shot is no good. And after one quarter of play, your score is Balco 14, Laverne 12. Balco Lady Bison basketball will continue in just a moment.
Welcome back to Bison Gym here in Balca, Oklahoma, where the Lady Bison lead the Laverne Lady Tigers by a score 14 to 12 at the start of the second quarter. Found out that number 14 for Laverne is Presley Brown, and we are going to be calling her name quite a bit. For those of you that are listening or watching, let us know where you're listening and watching from. The um, uh, you can uh, follow us on Facebook, the Balco Bison Sports Network. Uh, underneath the link, just let us know where you're listening to the game from. For our friends who are listening from Laverne, let us know. Uh, let, let us know what, what you think of the broadcast and let us know uh, if, if you're listening in. And we're glad to have you here. Also, we're on Twitter at Balco Sports. Just follow us on there. Let us know where you're listening from and we'll give you a shout out here. Laverne will get the ball to start of the second quarter. 14 to 12, again, your score. Laverne inbounding on the near sideline, again heading left to right as you are watching. Inbound into the backcourt to Jade Bentley. Bentley looks over to the coach for the play. Walking the ball across the timeline, being guarded by Emily Trenton, pass over to Whitley Cash, casts the ball, one dribble, passes over to Carly Brown, the three-pointers off the back iron, no good offensive rebound. And the Lady Tigers reset. Brown. Dribbles and passes over now, back up to the top of the key. Caitlin Long with the ball being guarded by Trenum. Jade Bentley at the free throw line, extended pass back up to the top of the key. Carly Brown with the ball being double teamed. Pass over to Jade Bentley. Long three-pointer by Bentley. Uh, is off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Maylee Wirtz. Wirtz being guarded in the backcourt, and she traveled. So a turnover for the Lady Bison with 7.21 left to go here in the first half. 14-12, to 12, still your score. Laverne inbounding underneath their own basket. Jade Bentley with the ball, inbounds it right in the middle of the paint. The shot is off the side of the iron and no good. Rebounded by Sawyer Stockton, who's triple team near the baseline. Outlet to Emily Trenum. Trenum races across the timeline, now has numbers if she wants them. Dribbles off her foot and out of bounds. And it will be a turnover for the Lady Tigers, just like in the first quarter. Turnovers on the first two possessions of the quarter. And Laverne comes jogging back the other way. Whitley Cash dribbles across the timeline, passes over to Carly Brown. Brown with the ball, cross-court pass to Jade Bentley. Bentley at the top of the key, being guarded by Trenton. Pass over again to the free-throw line. Extended now is Carly Brown. Brown again, cross-court pass to Whitley Cash. Cash down to Jade Bentley. Shots off the side iron. No good. Rebounded by, by Emily Trenton. He's double-teamed. Pass back to Maylee Wirtz. Wirtz over to Sawyer, Sawyer Stockton, who traveled before she passed. Three straight turnovers to start the second quarter, not the start that the Lady Bison were hoping for. And Madeline Trenum subs into the game, replacing um, Kendall France, giving her a rest. The Lady Tigers inbound near the timeline. Jade Bentley jogs it slowly up, brings it, uh, passes to Whitley Cash, Cash over to Brown. Brown dri uh, passes driving into the lane. Uh, Macy Bentley's layup is good, and we are tied at 14. Six and a half to go here in the first half. Quickly into the front court are the Lady Bison. Madeline Trenum looks to get rid of the ball, and she is fouled by Jade Bentley. That is her first personal third team foul. Lady Bison will inbound on the far sideline near the Lady Tiger bench. Inbound goes to Sawyer Stockton. Stockton being guarded by Caitlin Long. Pass over to Emily Trenum. Trenum fakes the three. Driving across the lane, passes to... Madeline Trenum, uh, Maylee Wirtz, three-pointer, bang! Maylee Wirtz with the three-pointer there. Her first basket of the game in the Lady Bison lead, 17 to 14. Shot by the Lady Tigers is uh, off the iron. Kay uh, Carolyn Overa driving through three defenders. Long pass, three-pointer from the wing is off the front iron. No good rebounded by Sawyer Stockton. Offensive rebound, and the, the Lady Bison look to reset. Overa gets it, passes over to Wirtz. Wirtz's shot is blocked. And we have a foul on the floor, and that will be on Jade Bentley. That is her second personal foul here in the first half. Balco will inbound underneath their own basket. Kendall France looking to find someone. Does so long inbound to Emily Trenum. Trenum has the ball being double team. Pass out to Kendall France. France has the ball driving up to the top of the key. Backs down her defender, pass out of the double key. Emily Trenum's three-pointers off the back iron. No good rebound by the Lady Tigers. Coming quickly back the other way is Caitlin Long. Long driving up. Pass to Presley Brown. Brown has the ball, passes it out to Whitley Cash. Pass out now to Carly Brown, who drives the lane, dishes it back out. 16-foot jumper 
by Macy Bentley is off, but offensive rebound goes off the front iron, no good. Mainly works with the rebound coming the other way, hands it off to Sawyer Stockton, who quickly goes into the front court, one on two, layup is off the side of the iron and no good. She was a little bit out of control, not going to get that call. Five minutes left to go here in the first half. Quickly back the other way, the three-pointer is off the front iron, no good. Offensive rebound again. That's probably 10 offensive rebounds for the Lady Tigers here in the first 12 minutes or so of this ball game. Foul is going to be on Madeline Trenum. That is her first personal 16 foul. So at the line for Laverne is Whitley Cash shooting two. First free throw is off the back iron and no good. Laverne will be shooting free throws for the rest of the half as the next foul will put them into the bonus. Something into the game for the Lady Bison is Caden Sager. And back into the game for the Lady Tigers is, is Nani Echevarria. Second free throw is up off the back iron. Also no good. Rebound by Kendall France. France double teamed near the baseline. Uh, is deflected out of bounds by Carly Brown. Will remain with the Lady Bison. 4.53 to go here in the first half. Inbound to Maley Wirtz. Passes up to Stockton. Stockton races it across the timeline. Goes around the double team. The layup is off and no good. But she is fouled on the play. Foul is going to be on Carly Brown. That is her first personal foul, fifth team foul. And at the line for the Lady Bison will be Sawyer Stockton. Shooting two. Stockton has five points so far in this game. Stockton takes three dribbles. The shot is on the way. And good. Stockton now with six points here in the first half. And is 18-14 Balco with 4.48 to go here in the second quarter. Stockton awaiting her second free throw. Shot is on the way and good. Stockton now the leading scorer in the game with seven points. And we have a timeout on the floor. Balco takes a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. 19-14 your score. Balco will 80 by some basketball. will continue in just a moment. Jim here in Balco, 19 to 14. Your score favor the Balco Lady Bison. Sawyer Stockton and Carolyn Rivera pacing the way for the Lady Bison with seven and six points respectively. Leading scorers for the Laverne Lady Tigers, Caitlin Long with five and Macy Bentley with four. So far in this one, it's looking like it's going to be a little bit of a higher scoring affair. It's the Lady Tigers inbound on the, on the baseline and Willie Cash jogs the ball across the timeline, being guarded by Madeline trying to pass over to. Carly Long cross-court pass to Cash. Cash driving into the lane. The floaters are on the iron and no good. We have a tie ball <laughs> on the rebound. Possession arrow to the Lady Bison. And Balco will take over with a five-point lead and four and a half left to go here in the first half. <laughs> Carolyn Olvera coming in for Maley Wirtz, who did some good work coming off the bench. Franks inbounding it. Pass over to Stockton. Stockton passes across the timeline to Caden Sager, over to Madeline Trenum. Three-pointer is off the back iron, no good. Rebound to Cash. Cash racing back the other way. Passes up to Caitlin Long. Long was the ball driving around Stockton. Pass up to the top of the key. Whitley Cash pass over to Presley Brown. The three-pointer misses everything. Rebounded by Sawyer Stockton. Stockton coming back. Double teamed in the backcourt. Dribbles around it. Pass up to Olvera. Olvera drives in. And passes out to Trenum. Back up to Sawyer Stockton. Stockton's three-pointer. Bang! <laughs> Sawyer Stockton now in double figures with 10 points and the Lady Bison lead 22 to 14 halfway through the second quarter. Caitlin Long fakes the three-pointer over the wing, passes up to Presley Brown. Brown passes over to Wheelie Cash. Cash with the ball being guarded by Stockton. Over now to the free throw line extended is Caitlin Long. Long being guarded by Olvera looks to see what the defense is giving her. Pass over to Cash. Cash passes uh, to no one in particular, but is picked up by the Lady Tigers. 10-foot jumper by Caitlin Long is no good. Rebounded by Olvera. Splits the double team. Loses control. Gets a back pass up to Kendall France. France reverse layup is good. And timeout by the Lady Tigers.
So we have a timeout by the Lady Tigers, 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. Balco Bison some basketball continue in just a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gym. 3.20 left to go here in the first half. 24 to 14 to score favor Balco. 10 to 2 favor Balco here in the second quarter as the Lady Tigers bring the ball across the timeline. Over to Presley Brown, down to Maria Sosa. Sosa being hounded by Overa. Pass up back over to Brown, over to the free throw line. Extended is Cash. Reverse. Uh, ball reversal back over now to Carly Brown. Brown being guarded again by Overa. So Lady Bison in a 2-3 zone. Brown being guarded by Overa. Goes around the screen. The front off the, the shots off the front line are no good. Overa with the rebound. One on three. She's going to slow it down. Bring it back out. And set the play. Overa being guarded near the timeline by Presley Brown. Excellent defense by the young Laverne player. Over to Madeline Trenum. Trenum back up to Caden Sager. Sager with the ball. Sosa goes for the steal. Does not get it. Sager has the ball. Drives all the way into the lane. Layup is good. 26 to 14. Favor Balco. Timeout, Laverne. That's Sager's first points of the game. Sager got the ball, took one dribble, and all of a sudden there was nobody in the lane there to defend her. So she said, thank you very much, drove all the way in. And the Lady Bison are on a 12-2 run to start the second quarter. It was 14-12 at the start of the quarter, and it's now 26-14. And this here, this, this here in the second quarter is what Coach Johnson was hoping was going to happen for the Lady Bison in the first quarter. Uh, Coach, uh, Coach Tippett sig signaled for a 30-second timeout, and the official scorekeeper put a 60. So we're going to be here for a few extra seconds as they, lay, as they go to um, just wait for the clock to run out. Um, so it's a, I guess it's a free 60 second timeout <laughs> for the, for the, because Coach Johnson has taken full advantage of the, the Lady Tigers are already out on the floor. Coach Johnson's like, no, I think we're going to take the whole time here, even though we're not supposed to. So Laverne will inbound underneath, underneath the Balco basket. 227 left to go here in the first half. As the Tigers inbound, Whitley Cash jogs the ball across the timeline, being guarded by Madeline Trenner, pass over to Carly Brown. Brown with the ball, back up to the top of the key, over to the free throw line, extended far side, Whitley Cash. Circle it back around, and we're back to the free throw line, extended on this side, into the paint. Sosa's shot goes in and out, begging. Alvera gets the rebound, but she's fouled. And the foul is on Macy Bentley. That is her first personal foul, fifth team foul. Uh, Six-team foul, actually. Um, so inbound to Overa, and we will be shooting free throws now the rest of the way. We're at the two-minute warning here in the first half, 26 to 14 to score. Overa, nice give and go. The layup is off the bottom of the iron. No good rebounded by Laverne. Pass out to Carly Brown, who races it across the timeline, being guarded by Trenum, driving into the lane. Pass over to... <clears throat> Whitley Cash back to Brown. Brown driving in. The 12-foot jumper goes back and gets her own rebound. Thought about going back up. Did not. Shot was blocked by Sosa. Rebounded by Stockton. Stockton racing back the other way. One on three. Dribbles it off the uh, – is deflected out of bounds. And it will be Lady Bison basketball. Subbing into the game for the Lady Tigers is Caitlin Long for Maria Sosa. Sosa – has, has not scored, but she is having a, a tremendous impact on this game for the Lady Tigers. A minute and a half to go here in the first half. France in long inbound to Stockton. Stockton driving into the paint. Pass off to Olvera. Olvera driving around. Pass back out to Kendall France. France thought about the three. Thought better if I pass over to Stockton. Stockton's three-pointer is in and out. No good. Rebound is a tie ball. Possession arrow favors 
the Lady Tigers, and Laverne will take over with 83 ticks to go here in the first half. 26-14, your score favor Balco, 16 fouls apiece. Again, 12-2 favor Balco here in the second quarter. A minute 15 to go here in the first half as Cash uh, brings it across the timeline back to Cash. Thought about the three, thought better of it. Down into the paint is Caitlin Long, pass over a wide open three-pointer. Shot is no good. And they're calling an offensive, no, they're not, wait, are they calling, no, oh, no, they're calling a three-second violation. I was like, what? What just happened there? But yeah, no, it was a three-second violation on Laverne, and Balco brings it up into the front court with one minute to go here in the half. Kendall France has the ball, passes out to Caden Sager, Sager dribbles into the double team, passes out. Stockton with the ball passes over to, St uh, to France, France loses control, but gets it, very back, gets it back very quickly over to, <clears throat> to Trenton, back to, France over to Trenum. The wing three-pointer is off the side iron. No good rebounded by the Lady Tigers. Presley Brown coming back the other way. Quickly, nobody guarding her. Brings it up uh, to pass over to Whitley Cash. Driving into the lane. The floater is good for Whitley Cash. Four points for Cash. And the lead is 10, 26 to 16, with 25 seconds left to go here in the first half. Olvera surveys the defense being guarded by Brown. Overa still with the ball, dribbles around Brown, driving into the lane. The shot is no good. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Carolyn Overa. That is Overa's second foul. <laughs> 13 seconds left to go here in the first half. 26 to 16, the score. Emily Trenum coming in, replacing Carolyn Overa. Laverne will inbound. Whitley Cash brings the ball quickly across the timeline. Coach Hollering got instructions for his team. Cash comes across the lane, passes over to Brown, back up to the top of the key, back again to Carly Brown. Brown, uh, Brown shot is around the rim and no good. And that's the end of the first half with the score. Balco 26, Laverne 16. We will be back in just a moment. Balco Lady Bison basketball will continue in a moment.
So they're doing it the right way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bison Gym here in Balco, Oklahoma. It is halftime where the Balco Lady Bison lead the Laverne Lady Tigers by a score of 26 to 16. Some halftime stats for you. Uh, each team committed six fouls in the first half. Excuse me, uh, excuse me, Balco committed seven. Laverne committed six. Uh, leading scorer for the leading scores for the Lady Tigers, uh, they had uh, four players that scored. Uh, Caitlin Long led the Lady Tigers with five points. Whitley Cash with four. Macy Bentley also had four. And Carly Brown had three. No real foul trouble for the Lady Tigers. Jade Bentley has two fouls. Caitlin Long has two fouls. Uh, Whitley Cash and Macy Bentley have one foul apiece. For the Lady Bison, Sawyer Stockton leading the way for all players with 10 points. Carolyn Olvera has six. Madeline Trenum has three. And Caden Sager may, uh, Caden Sager uh, well, Maylee Wirtz also has three points, sorry. And Caden Sager and Kendall Friends have two points apiece. Um, as far as foul trouble for the Lady Bison, Olvera and Aspen Freeman have two fouls apiece. And Kendall Friends, Emily Trenum, and Madeline Trenum each have one. So that gets us to where we are right now, 26 to 16, the score at halftime. We do want to thank everyone who is listening to this broadcast, no matter where you are, uh, whether you're a Balco fan or, or a Laverne fan, we appreciate you li taking the time out of your busy schedules to listen to this game and we certainly are sending our thoughts and our well wishes and prayers to all those who are battling COVID either directly or indirectly. We certainly hope that we're past all of this soon enough and that we can kind of resume with our normal lives, but we do have to get past it first. Again, for those of you listening, if you're, uh, if you're out there, uh, join us on Facebook, uh, the Balco Bison Sports Network. Uh, is our official page and let us know where you're listening to the broadcast from and uh, if you're on Twitter uh, follow us at Balco Athletic or excuse me at Balco Sports I apologize at Balco Sports and let us know where you're listening from where what you think of the broadcast and everything and uh, we'll we'll if, if you if you reach out to us we will definitely give you a shout out on air because we love talking to people I specifically love talking to people and that is why they hired me to talk professionally we have three minutes left to go until the start of the third quarter. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have the start of the second half here from Bison Gym. 26-16, your score. Favor Balco. Lady Bison basketball will continue in just a moment. I mean, you can like your own because then if I give a notification, then you'll get it. Yeah. But I guess if I'm giving the notification, it doesn't matter to you. Welcome back to Bison Gym 2616, your score as we head into the third quarter. Just a reminder that uh, both the Balco Bison and, uh, gentlemen's and ladies teams will be uh, playing in the uh, Woodward Oil Town uh, 
Classic Tournament. This weekend tournament begins on Thursday. We'll be posting on the Facebook and Twitter pages uh, the opponents and the times for those games. And so we're we're uh, very excited about that. It'll give our, our teams really kind of a, a terrific gauge to find out where they are against some of the very, very best competition here in this region. The officials have made their way out of the locker room. And we are just about to start the second half. Possession arrow favors Balco to start the second half. Lady Bison will be inbounding on the near sideline. Balco now going left to right across your television screen with Laverne going right to left. Inbound goes to Aspen Freeman who hands it back off to Sawyer Stockton. Stockton driving into the lane, pass out to Trenum. Trenum dishes it off to, to Olvera. Olvera passes over to to Trenum, Trenum shot goes begging. Stockton gets the offensive rebound, drives around the lane, the shot is off the iron, no good. Two Lady Tigers go for the rebound and the, the uh, cross court pass goes awry and is stolen by the Lady Bison. Kendall France with the ball, dribbles into a double team pass out to Overa. Overa being guarded by Whitley Cash, pass over to France again. France being guarded by Macy Bentley, cross court pass over to Overa. Overa has the ball now, back up to Madeline Trenum, Trenum driving into the lane, over to Stockton, Stockton fakes the three, sells for a 16-foot jumper off the side iron, no good, rebound by the Lady Tigers, coming back the other way. Whitley Cash, bring the ball quickly across the timeline, cross-court pass to Caitlin Long, being guarded by Olvera, along with the ball pass up to Cash, Cash being loosely guarded by Trenum, over to Carly Brown, back over to Cash, Cash with the ball again, passes into the lane. Caitlin Long dishes it back out. Pass over now to Echevarria. Echevarria out of a triple team. Passes the three-point shot. is off the side iron. No good. Rebounded by Aspen Freeman. Freeman gets the rebound. Outlet goes to France. France driving into the lane. One on two. Passes over to Olvera. Olvera wide open. Three off the front of the iron. No good. Rebound by the Lady Tigers coming back. We're a minute and a half into the second half. Still 26 to 16. The score driving all the way in is Cash. Cash's layup goes awry. No good. Knocked out of France's hands, but straight to Freeman. Freeman brings the ball across the timeline. Line. Has the ball over to Olvera. Olvera has the ball now. Pass over to Kendall France. Long three-pointer for Kendall France is off the side iron. No good. Now this is a frenetic pace. Very, very fast. Very little production. Over to Caitlin Long. Long being guarded by Stockton. Slows it down now. A touch down into the paint. Carly Brown's 12-foot jumper is no good. Offensive rebound is up and good. And a foul by Carolyn Olvera. That's going to be Olvera's third personal foul. First team foul here in the second half. Basket is good by Nani Echevarria, who has the two points and has one free throw on the on the way. 6.06 to go here in the third quarter. 26 to 18, your score. Favor Balco. The Echevarria free throw is off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by Olvera. Olvera comes racing back the other way across the timeline. One on two. She's going to pass it over to France. France, long two pointer is off the side iron. No good. Rebound by Echevarria over to. Brown, Carly Brown with the ball now. Drives into the lane, passes over now to the, free, to the wing. Caitlin Long has it, driving it up the baseline, and the layup is good. Seven points now for Caitlin Long, and it's now a six-point lead for the Lady Bison. Five and a half to go here in the third quarter. Stockton driving into the free throw line. Pass over to Aspen Freeman. Freeman with the ball out to France. France circling back to the top of the key, being guarded closely by Caitlin Long. Passes over to Olvera. Olvera now double teamed. Attempted for the steal was long. Pass out to France. Stockton faking the three, driving all the way into the lane. The shot is no good, but she is fouled on the way up. Second foul for Whitley Cash. That is her first, her second personal foul, first team foul. Sawyer Stockton at the line for two shots, 5-17 to go here in the third quarter. 26 to 20, your score. Stockton with 10 points so far in this game. Takes her dribbles. The first free throw for Stockton is up and good. 5-17 to go here in the third quarter. 27-20 now. Lady Bison with all of their defenders back, so they're just going to concede the rebound if there is one to Laverne. Stockton's free throw is off the side iron. No good rebounded by Echevarria. Passes over to Macy Bentley, who passes up to Cash. Cash over to Brown. Brown into the paint, and we have a foul by, St by Sawyer Stockton. 
Fouls on the floor will be Stockton's first personal foul, second team foul. Lady Tigers will inbound on the near baseline, 27 to 20 the score, just over five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Cash with the ball being loosely guarded by Trenum. Cash surveys the defense, cross court pass to Brown. Brown being guarded by Stockton. Another cross court pass to, to Cash. Cash drives in, the 16 foot jumper is off the front iron, no good offensive rebound by Echevarria. Goes back up, again no good. Olvera with the rebound in the middle of three purple jerseys. Madeline Trenum chasing the rebound down and loses it out of bounds. Will be turnover to Laverne, 4.42 to go here in the third quarter. 27-20 the score in what has been a very exciting game here to four and no reason to think it will not remain that exciting. Inbound to Cash as she dribbles it across the timeline. Passes over to Carly Brown. Brown being guarded by Stockton. Pass over to the wing. Caitlin Long with it being guarded by France. Takes the three-pointer over France and it's good. Three-pointer for Caitlin Long. She is now in double figures with 10 points. And that large lead the Balco had is now down to four. Kendall with the ball driving in. Pass over to Aspen Freeman. Freeman with the long three-pointer. Bang! Aspen Freeman's first basket is a three-pointer. Make it 30 to 23, 410 here in the third quarter. Pass over to Long. Long driving into the lane over Freeman is no good. Offensive rebound. The shot is no good, but there is a foul on the shot. Foul is on Madeline Trenum. That is her second personal foul. At the line for the Lady Tigers is Macy Bentley. Bentley with four points so far in this one. The first of her two free throws on the way. And it is good. Five points now for Bentley. With the second free throw forthcoming, 30 to 24, with four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Bentley awaiting the ball from the official, gets it. Takes a dribble, the shot is on the way. Off the front iron, no good rebound by Madeline Trenum. Up to Olvera, Olvera races across the timeline, uh, passes out of a double team. Caden Sager with the ball over to Madeline Trenum. Trenum with the ball back out to Sager. Sager uh, passes over to Trenum. Trenum's shot is blocked. Um, <laughs> Harshly out of bounds. <laughs> trying to trying to come up with the right word, and I never did. Aggressively, I guess would be the right word. Um, will be Baco basketball inbounding under, on their own baseline. 3:47 to go here in the third quarter. France looking to inbound, can't find anyone open. Inbounds it to Aspen Freeman. Freeman loses it in a double team. Coming very quickly back the other way. It's a fast break. Caitlin Long driving all the way in. The shot is off the iron and no good. Olvera with the rebound. She's double teamed in the backcourt. Loses the ball. Gets back on it. And we have a timeout called by Balco. 3.33 to go here in the third quarter. 30 to 24 the score. 30 second timeout. We'll take it with them. Balco Bison basketball will continue in just a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gym. 30 to 24, your score favor, Balco. 3.33 to go here in the third quarter. Laverne looking much better here in this third quarter so far. The second quarter was exactly what you, what you know Coach Johnson was hoping to see. Um, but so far here in the second half, it has been uh, Coach Trippett's uh, Lady Tigers that have uh, dominated the show here. So they've outscored the, the Lady Bison by six here in the first four and a half minutes of the second half. Lady Bison looking to inbound on their own, or excuse me, on the near sideline. They do so to Kendall France, who brings the ball slowly across the timeline, being guarded by Cash. France surveying what the defense is giving her pass over. to Vera deflected out of bounds, will remain with the Lady Bison. Maylee Wirtz subbing into the game for the Lady Bison, replacing Aspen Freeman. Balco to inbound on the near sideline once again. 324 here in the third quarter. 
Inbound to Madeline Trenum. Trenum driving into the baseline. Dribbles into a double team. Passes out. Uh, Kendall France has the ball. Driving into the lane. Pass out again to Caden Sager. Sager with the ball. Passes out of a double team again. Over to Maley Works. Works for the three-pointer. Off the front iron. No good. Rebounded by Whitley Cash. Coming back the other way for the Lady Tigers. Cash racing across the timeline. <laughs> passes over to Caitlin Long. Back over to Cash. Cash quickly double teamed. Over to Carly Brown. Now down. Onto the wing by Caitlin Brown, and we have a three-second violation. We have a three-second violation on the Lady Tigers. It'll be a turnover, and Balco will get the ball back with 2.54 to go here in the third quarter and a six-point lead for the Lady Bison. Olvera jogging slowly across the timeline, being guarded by Jade Bentley. Bentley passes over to France. France over to Wirtz. Wirtz back to Sager. Sager back to Olvera again. Passes out of a double team over to... France, France back up to the top of the key. Trenum with the ball over to Wirtz. Wirtz being guarded very closely by Caitlin Long. Ball's loose on the ground, and we have a tie ball. Possession arrow favors the Lady Tigers, and so it will be another turnover for the Lady Bison with 2.29 to go here in the third quarter. 30-24 to 24 the score. Favor Balco here in the third quarter. Carly Brown quickly, well, modded jogging the ball across the timeline. It's double teamed loosely, pass back out to Brown. Brown with the ball again, double team passes over to Cash. Cash's three pointer is off the front iron, but she gets her own rebound and dribbles out of bounds. And it will be a turnover. Ball to Balco. Sawyer Stockton subbing into the game, replacing Madeline Trenum. 2 11 here in the third quarter. The pace has slowed down quite a bit here in this quarter. 2.07 to go now. Olvera. I, eyeing the play from Coach Johnson, being guarded by Jade Bentley. Bentley with a, a, a large height advantage over Olvera. Olvera passes out of the double team. Back to Olvera at the free throw line extended. Dribbles back over now to the top of the key over to Kendall France. France three-pointer lines it up off the back iron. No good. We have a loose ball still underneath the basket. Picked up by the Lady Tigers. Racing back the other way is Carly Brown. Brown loses possession of it, but it's picked up by the Lady Tigers again. Brown gets it back, driving in the 14-foot jumper. It's off the back iron. No good. Offensive rebound and a traveling violation on Laverne. A minute and a half to go here in the third quarter. 30-24 to 24 your score. Favor Balco. In a game that was, that was quite quite exciting and frenetic early on has kind of turned into a slog here in the late going of this third quarter. Not a whole lot of scoring, some really good defense, and maybe a little bit of fatigue starting to set in. Stockton dribbles out of the double team, passes over to, to France, France to Olvera, Olvera back to France, France driving in, cross court pass to Trenum, Trenum over to Stockton, Stockton thought about the three, takes the three, 23 footers off the side iron, no good. Rebound comes all the way out to midcourt. Rebounded by the Lady Tigers. Coming quickly back the other way. And we have a charging foul on Sawyer Stockton. Second foul on Stockton. The basket is good for Carly Brown. Brown now has five points. And she has one free throw on the way. 30 to 26, your score with exactly one minute to go here in the third quarter. Subbing into the game for the Lady Tigers is Macy Bentley replacing Nanny Echevarria. Echevarria, again, not much as far as the score sheet goes, but she is definitely contributing in some nice ways in this game. The free throw is up and good for Brown. Brown now with six points. And the lead now down to three as we as we go under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Olvera with the ball in the circle. Passes down to Trenum. Trenum. Has the ball looking to get rid of it. Does so to Stockton. Stockton's shot is no good. Gets her own rebound. Pass out all the way up to the top of the key. Over to Olvera. Now Olvera has the ball. Double teamed in the corner. Pass over to Trenum. Cross court pass to Sager. Sager's long three-pointer is off the back iron. No good offensive rebound. Olvera driving into the lane. Shot is off the glass and good. Carolyn Olvera with eight points now. And the lead back up to five with 25 seconds left to go. 32-27. Lady Tigers with the ball. Carly Brown has it. Passes down into the lane. Ball is stolen by Stockton. Stockton driving in. Now drives past two. Drives around the third. The layup is good. Sawyer Stockton now with 13 points to lead all scorers. And the lead's back up to seven. 34-27. Five seconds left to go. Pass over to the three-point line. 
The three-pointer is off the back iron, no good. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Balco 34, Laverne 27. Balco Lady Bison basketball will continue in just a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gym. Here's we start the fourth quarter, 34 to 27. Your score, favor Balco. Do you want to give a, a shout out to uh, Jack and Pam Crenshaw, uh, who are the grandparents of Aspen Freeman, listening from Kerrville in Ingram, Texas. Uh, I know that area very, very well. I graduated from Medina Valley High School out there. Also, want to give a quick shout out to Jake Botel and Talia Stiles, listening from Victoria, Australia. The so inbound for the Lady Bison, Stockton driving all the way into the lane and we have a blocking foul on the floor before the shot. So the shot does not count, the foul is on Macy Bentley, that is her second personal foul, second team foul for the Lady Tigers. France looking to inbound underneath her own basket, 7.55 to go, Out, outlet is to Overo, Overo driving into the lane, shot is off of everything and no good. She drove into some pretty heavy traffic on that. Rebound coming quickly the other way. The 14-foot jumper is off the side iron. No good offensive rebound again. And this time rebounded by Olvera. Olvera double teamed in the backcourt and she is fouled. The foul is on Jade Bentley. That is her third personal foul. Third team foul for the Lady Tigers. And substitution coming into the game for the Lady Tigers. As Whitley Cash comes back into the game. Cash with four points. Replacing Jade Bentley, uh, Cash with, with four points, but she has been all over the place. An aggressive, hounding defender. Very, very nice player for the Lady Tigers. Olvera has the ball, goes around the screen. Being guarded closely by Presley Brown. Back to Kendall France. France has the ball. Driving dishes out to Trenum. Trenum, nice pass to Olvera into the paint. Over to Aspen Freeman. Freeman fakes the three-pointer, and the ball is deflected out of bounds. Will remain with Balco. Oh, no, they're, they're going to say it was a turnover and that it will be Laverne's basketball. 7-16 to go here in the ballgame, 34-27, as the Lady Tigers inbound it. Cash bringing the ball across the timeline, being guarded loosely by Trenum over to Presley Brown. Brown with the ball, back again to Cash. Cash has the ball. Now down to the free throw line is Brown. Brown dishes it down to the block. The shot is off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Aspen Freeman, and we have a foul on the floor by Caitlin Long. That is her third personal foul. Fourth team foul for the Lady Tigers. Under seven minutes to go here in the ball game. 34-27 the score favor Balco. Inbound goes to Olvera. Olvera walks the ball across the timeline. Passes over to Stockton. Stockton being hounded by Cash does goes over to Freeman. Freeman with the ball, Pat dishes off to France. France dribbles into a double team over to Freeman. Freeman thought about the three, thought better of it, she traveled. So traveling violation on the Lady Bison will be a turnover, and Lady Tigers will take over possession. 6.39 to go in the ball game. 34-27, your score. Cash brings the ball across the timeline, passes over to Presley Brown. Brown being guarded by Trenum. Drives down to the wing, passes off, now down to the block, over to the free throw line. The free throw line jumper is no good. Rebounded by Freeman. Freeman dishes off to Stockton. Stockton two on one, coming the other way. The shot is up and good. Basket is good and a foul. For Stockton, that's now 15 points. The foul is on Macy Bentley. That is her third personal. 15 foul. And at the line for the Lady Bison, Sawyer Stockton shooting one. Stockton leading all scorers in this game with 15 points. 
And substitution coming into the game for Laverne is Nani Echevarria. Echevarria will be replacing Presley Brown. Brown is playing some solid, solid defense here. And so it's, um, th this has been a nice defensive struggle. If you like defense, if you like good defense, this has been the game for you. 36-27, the free throw from Stockton is on the way, and it is good. Stockton is four or five from the line today. 16 points now, and the lead back up to 10, 37 to 27, just over six minutes to go here in the ball game. Whitley Cash has the ball, passes over to Brown, down to Caitlin Long, back up to Brown, now down to the free throw line at Echevarria, over to Long. Long has a three-pointer that misses everything, goes out of bounds off of Kendall France and will remain with the Lady, Ti with, with the Lady Tigers. 5.57 to go here in the ball game. Just a reminder that the Balco Bison and Laverne Tiger gentlemen teams will be playing shortly after the conclusion of this game. Three-pointer misses everything, goes out of bounds, and it will be Balco ball with 550 to go here in the ball game. Lady Tigers now employing a full court press. Stockton has the ball's double team pass over to France. France has the ball go off of her foot. She's trapped now by the baseline. Pass all the way up to the front court, and it's going to go out of bounds. Trenum cannot catch it. It will be a turnover. Laverne basketball with 5.39 to go here in the ballgame. 37-27 your score. Laverne with the ball. Cash jogs the ball across the timeline. Over to Brown. Brown holds the ball above her head. Now pass back over to Cash. Cash with the ball being guarded by Stockton. Pass out to Brown. Brown again to Cash. Now down to the free throw line, and Caitlin Long driving into the lane. Shot is blocked. Rebounded by France. Numbers the other way if they go quickly. Four on one. Pass over to Trenum. Trenum back to Olvera. Everyone catches back up. Five on five. Stockton fakes the three. Drives into the lane. The floater around the rim and good. 18 points for Sawyer Stockton. Lead back to 12 now. 39-27. Five minutes to go in the ballgame. Three-pointer for Caitlin Long is off the... Far iron, no good offensive rebound again. Probably 15 or 16 of those in this game so far. Whitley Cash, the basket is good. Six points for her. Lead to 10, 39 to 29. France has the ball. Double teamed near the baseline. Passes up to Stockton. Stockton coming out quickly the other way. Trenum with the ball back to Stockton. Stockton thought about the three, thought better of it. Passes back out now. Again to Trenum. Hands the ball to Olvera, Bell over to Aspen Freeman. Freeman's three-pointer is off the back iron. No good, rebounded by the Lady Tigers. Quickly back the other way is Carly Brown. Up now the 14-foot, no, no, I thought she was going to take the shot. Instead, she had a really nifty pass, but the shot for Whitley Cash went begging. And an errant pass quickly back the other way, stolen by the Lady Tigers. Nice offensive possession there for the Lady Tigers. Whitley Cash with the basket, eight points for her. Inbound to Aspen Freeman. Freeman with a sloppy pass, and it's stolen. So some sloppy possessions now for the Lady Bison. Three-pointer for Carly Brown is good. And a timeout called by Balco with 3.56 to go in the ballgame. 39-34 the score. I'm not sure what happened, but the Lady Bison got, got pretty sloppy with the ball there and gave up a 7-0 run in the course of about 20 seconds. And that is not what you want to do to a team that you have on the ropes. It's a full timeout, so we're going to take it with them. Falco Lady Bison basketball will continue in just a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gym. 39-34, your score favor, Balco. I have a couple of other shout-outs to, shout to give. Uh, Tana Fowler-Perkins listening from Elkhart, Kansas. Thank you for tuning in to the Balco Bison Sports Network. And Mr. and Mrs. Mendel, the superintendent and his wife, are listening. And we appreciate them uh, tuning in to this game as well. Hopefully, hopefully this isn't doing too much for... Uh, too much damage to Mr. Mendel's heart here. 3.51 to go. France dribbles out of a double team pass across the timeline. Caden Sager with the ball down by the wing over to France. France being guarded closely, passing to Caden Sager. Sager fakes the three. 
Passes over to Trenum. Trenum over to Stockton. Stockton thinking about the three, thought better of it. Overa with the ball. Passes over to Trenum. Trenum back to France. Frankles, France circles back around. Down by the elbow across the foul line. Stockton with the ball. Opts not to take the France screen. Over to Caden Sager instead. Sager with the ball being guarded by Echevarria. France with the ball. Pass over to Overa. Overa drives into the lane. And we have a foul on Macy Bentley. That's going to be Bentley's fourth foul. So that's going to be really big now with 3.15 left to go. She's got to be careful. That's the sixth team foul as well. So free throws the rest of the way for the Lady Bison. 3.15 to go here in the ballgame. 39-34 the score. France looking to inbound. Can't find anyone open. Long inbound to Stockton. Stockton being guarded very closely by Carly Brown. And the ball is stolen. Quickly back the other way is Brown. Brown one on two. She doesn't care. Going to take it anyway. 13-foot jumper around the rim. No good. Offensive rebound. Still loose. No. The putback is good by Whitley Cash. Ten points for Cash. And it's a three-point ball game now. Cash now in double figures. The second player in double figures for the Lady Tigers. Sager with the ball over to Trenum. France now with the ball. Olvera circling back now near the timeline with the ball. Sager hands it back to Olvera. Stockton thought about the shot. Passes cross court to Trenum. Trenum's three-pointer misses everything. Rebound by the Lady Tigers. Coming quickly back the other way. Two and a half minutes left to go. Cash quickly driving into the lane. Guarded by France. The shot is up and good. 12 points for Whitley Cash. A one-point ball game. 2.20 left to go. And the pass is deflected out of bounds. 2.20 to go. 39-38 the score favor Balco. An 11-0 run for the Lady Tigers here in the last minute 20. Inbound to Caden Sager. Sager with the ball passes up to Olvera. Olvera has the ball now in the front court. Hands off to France. France looking to drive. Around a double team. Goes up and is fouled on the shot. For Caitlin Long, that's going to be her fourth personal foul. So Long with four fouls and Macy Bentley with four fouls. 2-12 left to go in the game. Kendall France at the line shooting two. And these are massive free throws for the Lady Bison. First free throw is off the side of the iron and no good. France with two points in this game. Desperately needs this one to fall. Awaiting the ball from the official. Let's everyone know that there's one shot remaining. France with the ball. Shot is on the way off the back iron. No good rebounded by the Lady Tigers, who are now coming up with a chance to take the lead with a basket. 39-38 the score. Favor Balco over to Cash. Cash triple teamed. Back over to Brown. Brown now to Caitlin Long. Long now into the paint. The shot is around the rim. No good. Rebound. Offensive rebound. And a traveling violation on Nania Javaria. So it'll be a turnover with a minute 55 to go. Balco basketball. Stockton with the ball. Up to Overa. Overa has the ball. Looking content to just kind of kill some clock right now. Sager passes over to France. France with the ball. Laverne in a 2-3 zone. Stockton with the ball. Hands it off to Overa. Ball nearly stolen. Overa is able to keep possession. Pass over to France, who's pinned over by the, by the baseline, driving into the lane. Over to Stockton. Stockton gets the ball. Pass back to France. A minute 20 to go here in the ballgame. Pass over to Sager, and we have a timeout by Balco. Full timeout. We'll take it with him. 80 seconds left to go in the ballgame. Balco 39, Laverne 38. Balco Lady Bison basketball will continue in just a moment.
Welcome back to Bison Gym. We have an exciting game going on. 39 to 38, the score favor. Balco over the Laverne Lady Tigers. It was a 12-point game just two minutes ago. Laverne has gone on a tear. And Balco can't seem to, to stem the tide now. Over to Sager. Sager with the ball being bodied by Caitlin Long over to France. France with the ball back. Now to Olvera deflected into the backcourt. Olvera recovers. Driving in, triple teamed is Olvera. Madeline Turner with the ball pass over to Olvera. Olvera over to France. France with the ball back to Olvera. And a hard foul by Whitney Cash, and that's going to be her third personal foul. So 18 fouls, so one and one now on the way for the Lady Bison. Olvera shooting has eight points so far in this game. I know her teammates need her desperately to make these. It is a one and one. Olvera with the ball, takes her dribbles. The shot is on the way and good. Nine points for Olvera. Substitution coming into the game for the Lady Tigers. Macy Bentley subbing in for Nani Echevarria. 40 to 38, your score, 54.6 to go here in the game. Olvera awaiting her second shot. Ball is on the way and good. Nothing but net. Olvera is now in double figures. It's a three point lead with 51 seconds left to go in the game. Quickly across the timeline are the Lady Tigers in the corner. Caitlin Long thought about the three-pointer, opted not to take it, has the ball wide open, three-pointer for Long, off the side iron, no good, rebounded by the Lady Tigers, Laverne looking to reset, passes out, wide open, three-pointer for Carly Brown, off the side iron, no good, another offensive rebound, and a foul by Madeline Trenum, that's not necessarily the worst foul that you could have committed, though. So that's going to be the third foul for Trenum, subbing into the game for Balco, Aspen Freeman, replacing Caden Sager. 30.8 seconds to go here in the ballgame. 41 to 38 the score. Inbound to Caitlin Long. Long being guarded by Trenum. Passes over to Cash. Over to Carly Brown. Three-pointer from the side. No good. Rebound Aspen Freeman. Freeman triple teamed on the baseline looking to get rid of it. And we have a foul on the Lady Tigers. And that is on... Okay, so there's no foul. No foul in the play. There's a timeout called by Balco before the foul. So 20 seconds to go here in the ball game. Balco timeout. It's a full timeout. We'll take it with them. 41 to 38. Your score. Balco Lady Bison basketball will continue in just a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gym here in Balco, Oklahoma. 41-38 the score, 20.2 seconds left to go here in the ball game. Lady Bison will be inbounding on the near sideline. Freeman to do the inbounding. Looking to find someone open, finds Trenum. Trenum has the ball, passes off to Stockton. Stockton being guarded and double team now in the backcourt. Here comes a triple team and we have a foul on Whitley Cash and that's gonna be four fouls on Cash. Ninth team foul on ninth team foul on the Lady Tigers. At the line, shooting one and one is Sawyer Stockton. Stockton with 18 points so far in this game. Looking to hopefully put this game away for the Lady Bison. First free throw is on the way and good. 19 points now for Sawyer Stockton. That free throw makes it a two possession game. 42 to 38, 14.2 seconds left to go. Stockton with the ball, shot is on the way, off the front iron, no good, rebounded by 
Lady Tigers coming quickly back the other way is Cash. Cash driving into the lane, passes out to Long. Long's three-pointer is off the side iron. No good rebound offensively. Shot goes up and no good, but there's a foul on the shot. 3.8 seconds left to go in the ball game. Foul is on Carolyn Olvera. That's going to be her fourth person foul. At the line, shooting two for the Lady Tigers is Whitley Cash. And you have to wonder, with a four-point lead and under four seconds left to go, if she makes the first free throw, do we try and miss the second one? As the first one does go in, giving her 13 points. Does she intentionally miss this free throw, hoping to get an offensive rebound? Or do you make a quickly called timeout and just do a severe press? Free throw is on the way, and it is good. So I guess that answers that question. 14 seconds left to go. Freeman with the ball, looking to inbound. Looking to inbound, does so to Olvera. Olvera with the ball coming across the timeline, and there's a foul with 0.7 seconds left to go in the ball game. Foul is on Carly Brown. That's her first personal foul. Carolyn Olvera at the line to shoot two free throws with 0.7 to go here in the ball game. 42 to 40, the score. So she can salt the game away here. The first free throw is around the rim and no good. I think everyone thought that that was a one and one. And Coach Johnson is hollering, no fouls, no fouls. So now you have to wonder if this is another one the other way where you intentionally miss. Free throw is on the way. Off the front iron, no good. The full length court shot is off the speaker and no good, but that's the ball game. Final score, Balco 42, Laverne 40 in what was a tremendous ball game. What an absolute wonderful ball game and tremendous effort by the visiting Lady Tigers as well as the Balco Bison. So we're going to go ahead and sign off of this broadcast. Tune back into BalcoBison.tv here in just a few minutes. Uh, and we will have the start of the gentlemen's game between the Malco Bison and the Laverne Tigers. Malco Bison basketball signing off.